Hey, what's up, America? This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I hope everything's well with you. It's uh, pretty good with me. Well, as you know, um, I, uh, I've been uh, traveling a little bit, uh, trying to keep under the radar from the boys in the dark suits and uh, black SUVs. And uh, so I've been traveling around quite a bit, and I've been uh, observing some things, and uh, some things has bothered me, and it always has. An old song back uh, oh, I think in the 60s or 70s called Signs, Signs Everywhere, Signs, They're Breaking My Mind, all that kind of stuff. Well, that signs bother me too. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit today about some signs. So, uh, here we go. Well, the one thing that always has bothered me uh, on signs is uh, somebody puts a no trespassing sign up on their house. And right off the bat, I figure they ain't very friendly people. And uh, the word trespassing kind of bothers me. I can't figure it out. You see, it says uh, trust passing. Now, what does that mean? Does it mean uh, if you trust somebody they can't pass or something? It just don't make any sense. It should uh, just say, keep the hell out, I'll shoot you, or something like that. But it just says trust passing, and I don't understand that. Another uh, sign that uh, kind of bothers me is uh, uh, entrance and exit. Uh, those words don't make any sense at all. Uh, exit uh, does not mean going out, uh, in my mind. And entrance, what is a trance? I don't know, you enter a trance when you go into McDonald's or something like that. I think it should say, to change those signs, should be uh, ingoing and outgoing. You see, that makes perfect sense then, then you know what you're doing. But entrance and exit, and the, that don't make any sense. So you just, you might go into exit because you don't know what exit means. So, um, there's uh, two signs I don't like very much either. So, and also, you know, uh, I've uh, been traveling and uh, I noticed the street signs uh, have a, a lot of them have long words on them, you know, like Washington Lane and Lincoln Avenue and uh, oh, I don't know, and it goes on Orange Street and uh, Apple and uh, you know, name streets. And uh, that's a lot of money to paint all them letters on there. I'm thinking that needs to get changed, so we'll talk about that in a little bit too. And I, I, was, I was just scratching my right, picking my nose. So uh, that's one thing I've been observing and thinking about. And uh, so uh, there's some other stuff that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit as well. But anyways, so let's just talk about the street signs on the, on the highways and the roads. Well, what we need to do right away is change them all. So they all need to be changed to numbers. And they need to be, see, I'm observing in some states, you, the numbers is bigger than they are in other states. And uh, everybody ain't a young whippersnapper with 20-20 vision. So I'm thinking all the, num all the streets need to be changed from names to numbers, and the numbers need to be one foot tall. And uh, that would solve that problem right there. So people could see the streets. It saved gas, see, it saved on the gas and that helped the uh, environmental thing and it uh, would save on accidents because people would ride down the road trying to read what's oh, going on and it's going to go past they can't read it it's, even if they're young the longer them long ass names like that need to you know be gone so put the numbers up there all right so that's done fix that now the other thing is one-way streets that's a stupid idea, one-way streets. They don't need no one-way streets nowhere. Get a ban on those things and just get rid of them. I don't even need to explain that to you. Anybody who's been on a one-way street knows it's a stupid idea. All right, so that's the care of one-way streets. Now, the other thing is I notice is uh, these uh, highways are dedicated to people. I've seen one, uh, something like uh, um, Virgil Skeeter something or another, bam bam, junior. Uh, no, the third, that's what it was. It was a something or another, Skeeter the third. And I thought, a uh, dedicated highway to that feller. And uh, you don't know who he is, I don't know who he is. This is a waste of dead gum money. And uh, the thing that baffled me the most about it is, uh, who in the hell would have named their kid Skeeter not once, not twice, but three times and named him Skeeter. I mean, that's just crazy. So anyways, we don't need none of them dedicated highway signs. Only signs that have any letters on them at all 
are bridges that have uh, creeks or rivers under them because I like creeks and rivers. So those should have names like Santa Fe River, Swanee River, stuff like that. They should be named, that's it. The uh, rest of us all got to be numbers. Now, now we're getting down to the real nitty gritty of everything. Highway speed limit signs. Now, we got to change them things. It's, it's an unwritten law. Everybody knows that you can go 10 miles over the speed limit. I mean, it's just, it's just universal. Uh, might even be worldwide. I don't know, but in the United States, everybody knows you go 10 miles over the speed limit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to change them speed limit signs to say uh, 55 plus 10 equals 65. And 60 plus 10 equals 70. I'm going to put that right on the sign so there's no more confusion about how fast you're supposed to be going. See, that would save a lot of trouble for the highway patrols and all that stuff. There'd be no more unwritten laws. It'd be right there up on the sign. Everybody will know. If they go over that part of it, uh, you know, in between them two, you know, uh, 55 plus 10, then they'll get a ticket. So that's going to save a whole lot of stuff right there. And uh, so them some things I'm thinking about on the signs. And uh, you could just uh, let me know what your comments are about it. Uh, if you agree or disagree with me, uh, let me know either way. And uh, there's one thing I want to start leaving with my uh, messages is um, some things about quotes, famous quotes in America. And I was thinking about old Ronald Reagan because I watched the debates last night. And uh, Ronald Reagan one time, he said a famous quote when he was in uh, Germany over there by the Berlin Wall. I think everybody pretty much knows what I'm talking about. But anyways... What you don't know is if Ronald Reagan were running for president today, uh, he is kind of an outsider when he ran. And so all these outsiders is running today and they're very popular like Donald Trump and, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So if he was running today for president and he was in Germany, this is what he would have quoted instead of what you actually heard. He said, Mr. Gorbachev, Tear down that wall. And if he had been running for president today, he would have added, because we need to take it down over there and reinstruct it over there in Mexico. So he would have said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall so we can take it and reconstruct it in Mexico. Well, that's my comment for today. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And so Jim Bob is out.